Well, Brandon should be here any minute now. I mean, can't wait to hear what uh, we're going to be doing this year. Before. Hey, hey, gentlemen. Hey, how's Brandon. it going? Good, good to be back. back out. Hey, Brandon, Travis. Good to see you. Great to hey, see you, Paul. Welcome back, sir. Hey, thank you so much for joining us again. It's an exciting time to be yeah. able to launch the next phase of our investigation beyond Skinwalker Ranch and to look at what you collected this last year and the groundbreaking effort in identifying sites of interest and actually bringing, I think, some of the most compelling evidence forward regarding the same type of phenomena that we've been seeing here at Skinwalker Ranch catapulted this effort into the stratosphere. Oh, absolutely. The data you've brought back really cross-correlates well with Skinwalker Ranch. One of the hotspots you investigated that yielded some incredible results in phase one of the investigation was Mount Wilson, which happened to be owned by Robert Bigelow, my predecessor here at Skinwalker Ranch. In fact, we all know that Robert Bigelow, the elusive Las Vegas billionaire and now space entrepreneur, owned both Skinwalker Ranch and Mount Wilson at the same time. I was frankly very surprised by the incredible results that you were able to, to get in your initial exploration of that property. And I think of all the properties, that is one that I wanted to go back and revisit. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, can come we on come in? in? We're, just, we're just messing with some gear. Nice. I kind of felt like we should make you aware. Yeah, this room here, basically last time you asked, why would Mr. Bigelow have sold this place to me? Um, this room here, Mr. Bigelow had an encounter with what he called a shaman. It, in this room? In this room. While he was sleeping, like in this bed. In this bed? Woke up in the middle of the night and he said the figure was so tall that it was stooping up with its head below the ceiling and it, what did it tell him? Leave. Pointed right at him and told him to leave. That was the message. And we even talked to a guy from the phone company that was here the next day when he woke up, heard it first hand from him and said that Bigelow was freaking out, that he had saw this apparition appear to him right here in this room. It sounds like this isn't like someone sensing a presence or feeling like something is there. This is something that's visible. We can set up cameras to, you know, if anything does happen, we'll capture it. Yeah, we're not leaving, for sure. Right, no, I mean, yeah, we're not going anywhere. I mean, this is, this is wild. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. Carl and Jeff were just kind of giving us sort of a friendly heads up, like, look, this is the story of this place. And I always take, especially these, the, the idea of the paranormal stuff with a grain of salt. But of all the places we've been, this place may have the darkest and most disturbing and frankly, some of the most bizarre stories we've heard. But you've got to come with an open mind. I thought this was all just going to be for outdoor use. Andy, Paul, and the production team set up multiple cameras in their room to attempt to record what supposedly spooked Robert Bigelow, including a new highly sensitive FLIR HD thermal camera designed to capture heat signatures from objects. Hey, Andy. Yeah, man. Come check this out. Look at that. What is what that? What is that in the corner? Whoa! What was that? Was that recorded? Did you see that? No! I, I just turned it. it on! That was a dude in the corner. That was a dude in the corner. But then it's gone. It's gone! That wasn't no at all. all. Nope. I just turned it on. I just turned it on. Before we even press record on half the equipment down here, I thought the shaman, we'd never get any evidence. But then sure enough, as soon as we turn on the FLIR, we get some kind of weird shadow. Like, is that the shaman? Oh my god. Crazy. Dude, go back over there. You go over okay. there. Okay, roll it, roll it. All right, we're gonna work. No, there we go. Recording. Okay, it's live. Okay. So you were over here. Blah blah blah. Right. Right. I think you were messing with the camera. Okay. And I left. It's I'm. It's I'm. You were. I was focusing I you, on you. Yeah. And you're you're hot as the day is right. long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you came over here. And when you were over here, there was a dude in the corner. So what's crazy is the, the signature that was there didn't have heat, but you had heat when you were there right, right now. Did you, so you saw it the saw, I saw it right away. before, and then it reset, and the, and the image went away. That was so wild. <laughs> did, did you get that? I'm not sure. Oh, man, I hope Lee got that. Can we, can we play his back on camera? 
Oh man, could you imagine if we're five minutes into this room and we already have that? <laughs> oh my God, I hope this is on camera. Come on, so Lee, come know, on, right? Lee. <laughs> that's it, that's it, that's it right there. Now keep watching, keep watching. That's totally right there. Look at that, look at that. Yeah. Lee, you have that's it. it. Oh my that's gosh, it. Lee, you have it. And there it is, Andy walks away. I, it's, I, right it's right there. behind me. Oh, it's no. right there. Oh, look at that, right there. Yes, it's right there. Yeah, that you can see it. Oh, and then Andy blocks it. And that's when I think, put your hands! And <laughs> you totally have it, Lee. But then it's gone. It's and yes, just as soon as my gone. hand clears, it's gone! <laughs> awesome. I just I just found these guys. Yes. Check this shit out. I saw something that I shouldn't see. Oh, right? right? Here's Andy. What's that behind him? In the corner. There's someone standing Look at in that. the corner of the there room. There's someone standing. Exactly. There's someone standing in the corner. And There's I'm like, a person standing. And I'm standing. like, huh. Wait, watch. Keep watching, guys. Watch. Your hands are in the way. Watch. Oh, my God. Watch. Move your he hand. Says, he's saying move his move. I heard. Gone. What? Gone. <laughs> weird. Something is weird in that corner. I've seen a lot of things doing this kind of work, but I've never seen anything remotely like that. Like, there was a moment where I was like, hey, uh, Andy, because I'm about to lose my mind here. There's something in the corner right behind you. I, I, I don't even know what to say. I'm kind of at a loss for words, which is not like me. There was, there was something in that corner. I don't know what it was, period. I want to see what the Skinwalker team makes of this. Absolutely. After encountering what appeared to be the entity that reportedly drove Robert Bigelow from Mount Wilson, Andy and Paul call an urgent meeting with the Skinwalker team to analyze what was captured on the thermal camera. Greetings from Skinwalker Ranch. Paul, Andy, anxious to hear what is happening at Mount Wilson. Well, I want to say we've had a hell of a start to this place. One of the things that ended up happening to Paul and I when we arrived is that we were given a room that was assigned to us by Jeff, the ranch owner. And Jeff came in and told us later on that the room actually had a specific history tied back to Bigelow. This room was where Bigelow had been staying while he was there. There's no other way to put it, but that it was haunted. And we want to share that with you because we think we may have captured some really interesting measurable evidence that speaks to the phenomenon that may have gotten Bigelow off that ranch. Am I to understand that you actually took instrumented measurements in the room where Mr. Bigelow had those experiences? That's exactly right. Can't wait to see it. Uh, yeah, I'm on the edge of my seat here. Whoa! Was that recorded? Did you see that? No! I absolutely I saw that. That. What is What that? is that? In the wait corner? a minute. That was a dude in the corner. That was a dude in the corner. Wait, I saw somebody walk in front of the camera. No, it was right in the back. It was like a hooded figure. Right, you can see there's the purple stripe is the cool corner of the room. OK. When we roll it back, now look at that corner. That's from just a moment before. Can you frame advance very slowly? Absolutely. Now here, I step in front of the camera mm -hmm. until a later moment. It's gone there. There's a very important frame that I think will help shed some light on this. So you're about to see my image pop up on the thermal camera. And I'll appear in front of whatever that entity, whatever that image is. That's interesting. OK. OK. Right there. Look. There. Stop. There's a dark feature that we saw in the initial image. I still see the, uh, the hands yes. and the face and the, the body right. shape. Is that not weird? Now it's starting to get a little more obscured. Well, the persistence of that dark area says a lot to me. Yeah. You know, as I said, it's, it's uh, yeah, there it is again. OK. Oh, goodness. It obviously looks like some spectral figure, which is similar to what we've seen observed and documented here at Skinwalker Ranch. In 2022, a member of Robert Bigelow's investigative team returned to Skinwalker Ranch and recalled an incident where he saw an apparition at Homestead 2. As we walked closer to Homestead 2, we felt a drastic drop in temperature. You could put your arm through it, and you could feel the cold versus the heat. On the second floor of Homestead 2, through the night vision device, we saw what resembled a dark, shadowy figure And here's one of the things, a detail that, that really struck me, right, was whenever, whenever one of us, whenever a, a person passes in front of the screen, what's the hottest thing you see? It's their face. 
your face yeah. is bright yellow, you know, the hottest ends of the spectrum. Whatever this face is, is black. It is cold. The, the part that's undeniable is that you have an image in a FLIR of a cold object that looks very humanoid in shape that just appeared there for a few seconds. This is unique because we have a very distinct image captured with a very sophisticated piece of equipment with witnesses participating and observing all of this play out. What an extraordinary event to be captured on camera. And I can only imagine what will be further discovered as we dedicate the resources. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much, and we'll see you soon. All right, guys. Thank nice you, gentlemen. Thank you so much for your efforts.